to my channel. Today I'm doing a wellness habits, things that I've been changing, talking about wellness, girl talk, all of that. So if you're interested in that, then stick around. If you know me, you know I'm always coffee first, first thing in the morning. There was a time where I took a break from that in 2021, around 2022. Reason being is because your cortisol is highest in the morning. It's time for you to wake up, especially in women. And if you are sensitive to caffeine, then combining that with caffeine might not be the best idea for a lot of people. For me, I feel like half of my body is already caffeine. So I just kind of fell off of that and just went back to my coffee routine. But I do think that small little daily habits that we do, they might seem insignificant at first, but they do add up over time, especially as we get older. And I do want to change some habits. Not so much not having coffee in an empty stomach, because I do still have, like I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee right now. But I had my collagen. I just started taking liquid collagen versus the powdered one. I had vital proteins. I just really struggled incorporating the powdered one into my routine. This one is so much easier. I bought it myself. It comes with a shot glass as well. You just do one to two tablespoons daily, keep it in the refrigerator, call it a day. So much easier to incorporate. And then warm water, warm water with lemon. Not for any reason really, honestly, because I feel like there are a lot of claims that are made around warm water with lemon. For me, it was just kind of like a comfort thing. And I've been awake for about, I want to say, at least half an hour for sure. So I'm not just like opening my eyes and going straight to the caffeine. Small and steady always wins the race in my opinion, making small changes versus super drastic changes. Like anything that you do, it has to be sustainable and you have to give yourself time to adapt to it. So because coffee is, <clears throat> sorry I don't know what's going on with my voice, but because coffee is such a big part of my morning, I'm still gonna have it in the morning. I'm not sure if I'll ever get to the point where I'll have breakfast first and then coffee. But for those of you that are sensitive to caffeine, that is something to consider. If you're somebody that has always had caffeine like me, then there are studies to show you there's no difference really whether you have it on an empty stomach or not. But everybody is different. So I just say, listen to your body, be intuitive and go from there. So I'm gonna go put on my eye patches that I keep in the fridge as well because they're nice and cold and from Pureology. And we're gonna make a little cappuccino. Sorry, did I say Pureology? I meant to say Patchology. I'm sorry guys. These are the Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels and they were part of the Winter 2024 box. They retail for $50, so you're definitely getting your money's worth when you get the box. Look at how stunning they look. My favorite ones from Patchology are the bubbly ones, but these are good as well. They have a lot of great skincare benefits. And I like to keep them in the fridge, like I said, because then when you apply them, it's such a nice cooling sensation. It just feels so good. Some people don't care for patches and I get it. I love, love, love eye patches so much because to me it's like a self-care moment. But for me it's more than just the fact that these are skincare. For me it's an entire moment. It's not just the eye patch, it's everything. Just having them on, cooling effect. Oh, they match my nails, like you're a dozen. want to watch that video putting it up it's so festive in here and i love it every time we look at it behind me i get so happy and also these pjs are from old navy their new satin collection i had them for like probably a good couple weeks now and i really like them the bow ones that i wear with the little red bows i got those at a local department store so i can't link them for you guys or anything but these old navy really cute usually i come on the couch and i use my red light therapy mask but because i have my eye patches on i'm gonna wait because I'm not ready to take them off just yet. You're not supposed to use it with skincare, but this is just eye patches. It's just like right around here, and usually you don't really have it around the eyes anyway, but Higher Dose is having a sale right now, running until December 8th for 20% off, which is such a good deal. They have definitely made a name for themselves when it comes to wellness. They have sauna blankets, red light therapy masks, so I do trust them when it comes to this red light therapy device, because the last thing that you want is to buy a device that's a little bit cheaper and it's not going to deliver the results that you want. So I would say if you're going to buy devices like this, stick to a reputable brand. I know it's so tempting to want to save money on something like this because it's so expensive, but you want to make sure that it's actually functioning and working working the way that it should. And the main reason why I was really interested in red light therapy is for collagen production. It's great for so many other benefits as well, but collagen production can in turn help with fine lines and wrinkles. And this is like an, a great at-home device. It's not going to replace the med spa treatments but for being an at-home device and something that you can do at home it's definitely going to help 
a little bit for sure. If you have it on your Christmas list, let somebody know. They have until December 8th with code BFCM. I'll link the details down below, but I am going to use this. I'm just going to use this a little bit later. Meanwhile, I wanted to sit and have some girl chats. I'm reading a new book called in the flow and i've actually been really enjoying it it's about the four phases of the cycle cycle syncing i'm only like a fourth through the book but one thing that really stood out to me was that we as women are on a 28 day clock as well as a 24 day clock and our 24 day clock 24 hour clock sorry our 24 hour clock is influenced by our 28 day clock and i think growing up we hear about our menstrual cycle how it works what it does but we're really not taught anything beyond this is what's going to happen every month and until you get menopause and that's it protect yourself or don't if you want to get pregnant kind of thing and that's it that's literally like what we're taught in reality there are four phases to that 28 day cycle well for me it's not 28 days like right now i'm on my period i got my period on cycle day 40. last month it was 31 days the month before that was 35 then i was 31 then it could be like 42. so mine is definitely all over the place it's irregular it's long, it's heavy, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get this book because I think a lot of people, women experience this, but I'm learning it's not normal. Like if you have really irregular periods, it could be a sign your body's trying to tell you like, hey, listen, something's not exactly right. And same thing with like really heavy periods, which I have. So I want to learn as much as possible. So I picked up this book and I'm reading it. Yeah, we function on a 28 day clock. And when I say 28, keep in mind, it's not 28 but like 28 to 8 o'clock and i can say firsthand that the different parts of the cycle for sure will influence your workouts how you feel your moods your emotions your well-being all of that it's just that we never really hone in on that we like know the information we don't hone in on it so if you track yourself every single month every part of the cycle then you will probably know that like this part of the cycle you're feeling very energetic and like social and your mood is like up here your drive is up here all of that and then when your period is about to come it like for me especially when my luteal phase comes i already know that it's coming i don't love it it's like my brain makes a complete switch it's very short but it's just crazy how hormones really play a part and there are a lot of women that have pms type symptoms some even have pmdd we still have to go to work we still have to take care of our families we still have to take care of our homes now people are really talking about it but not to the extent like we're not really being taught about it because i feel like we're still on the 24 hour clock like my husband and i have complete different biological makeups as well as how we function day in and day out hormones don't affect him as much as they do me and i think women don't love to say that because it almost makes us feel like the weaker link but it's not like there's so much that goes on in the cycle we literally are responsible for bringing life into this world obviously with our partners but still like our bodies carry that do all of that instead of looking at it from weaker link perspective we should look at it from a way of how we can use it to our advantage and use it to make better decisions throughout the month and help us be our best selves because when you're your best self you can perform your best and be your best for other people around you instead of just like oh this is something that happens to me every single month my period's coming oh here it goes again because that's kind of how i was and honestly it wasn't helping myself i just thought that like oh i have really heavy periods I have a crappy luteal phase. I have PMS type symptoms. That's just something that I have to deal with. And I'm finding out that like, no, not really actually. You can mitigate some of those symptoms. So I'm trying to read as much as I can and make small changes here and there. And you know, learn your body, see what works. Not everybody is gonna have the same path and try the same things. Yeah, that's where I am right now in my wellness journey. That's my little girls chat. If you can relate, let me know. Would love to continue the conversation down below. I'll link the book as well because I think it's a really great read. I'm really enjoying reading it and I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. Subscribe if you did and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Cheers!